Hello everyone, this is Michael and this is the weekly CL review. It's uh, week 18 on uh, May the 4th. Gosh, this, this year is just flying by. The weeks seem to be really accelerating at a, at a pace. Um, the interesting, uh, interesting price action on, uh, on CL this week, if we look at the general trend, it seems to have moved to the upside. But we have experienced uh, last week uh, quite a bit of a consolidation going on, and uh, this week was no different. Uh, the the areas that were in play was uh, at uh, the 68, uh, 68, 90 level, all the way down to 67, and um, provided prevented and created some opportunities for those traders who were trading at the edges. Uh, did did very very well, um, and if we look at the look at the actual numbers um, involved. You can see here that uh, on Monday the range was at 2, 217 which is quite high for a Monday um, with a, a volume of over 600,000, 620,000 which is also you know, quite high. Um, range went down a little bit to 205 on Tuesday. Uh, really tight range on the Wednesday and uh, that was quite difficult to trade on uh, on Wednesday and the, the actual volume though was over 641 so there was a lot of activity going on and that points out to the fact that the the price of oil spent a lot of time at the point of control it's as if the market was in equilibrium and uh, there weren't many opportunities to to make some profit uh, market opened up a little bit on Thursday uh, with a range of uh, 139 and the uh, and, and what's quite interesting is that range is that the volume actually went down a little bit from the open to the close was 83 83 ticks and the entire range is 249 which is you know pretty much on target and if we look at the chart on a on a 60 minute chart um we we can see that uh, the price has kind of moved up come down and finally you know moved back up um, giving us quite a decent range overall, um, but sig some significant opportunities to uh, to take some trades. Um, and if we look at these levels of of, uh, of supply and demand, look at the areas. Well, the first area was this. This was this low was put in on the uh, on the Monday, and the price came down to that level and immediately um, immediately bounced off that level. It also on Tuesday created a high up here, which uh, we got up to at the end, uh, towards the close of business. Well, that's actually not quite the close of business, uh, but towards the end of the trading session on Friday. Um, and uh, we also on Tuesday created a little base here, uh, and the price on Wednesday came down to this base and then bounced off that area. These levels is really, really important to be plotting these levels on your chart. Uh, because they do present some significant opportunities um, to trade. Also, we had this sort of intermittent level um, over here uh, on uh, Tuesday, and the price came back on Wednesday up to that level and then bounced off, um, bounced off that area. And then finally, on f on uh, f Thursday, we had this uh, this this big bar here, bit of a a doji type uh, bar and it created a sense of um, some support um, there when price came down into that level okay it bounced off and then continued um, its push to the upside so the market presented some some pretty significant opportunities perhaps with the exception of the price action that occurred on Wednesday it was pretty pretty tight uh, made even more difficult by the fact that we had the inventory report coming out on Wednesday so um, in fact I don't think I took a trade um, on, uh, on on oil that day okay so interesting price action we are approaching this area now of uh, 69 um, 69 dollars and uh, by the time you're reading this I think you'll find that the price has gone beyond um, that level so it's going to be quite interesting to see what they do with the market uh, next week thank you Okay, so it's Monday the 30th of April and uh, we're just coming into the uh, into the New York session now. Uh, coming up to the the open of the oil market uh, which happens at 2 o'clock my time. Remember I'm five hours ahead. Um, we can see from the 30-minute chart that the price 
during the Asian session has pushed down quite uh, quite considerably, and we've had quite a bit of chop um, during the New York the, the European session, uh, where the S2 level at uh, 67. 28 uh, has been in play um, and so we're just looking at the market now seeing what opportunities uh, we are likely to uh, likely to experience today uh, 67 20, 22 is the current low of the day which is you know quite low down we've had quite a significant move to the downside so we may get a bit of a bit of a reversal um, coming back out of that situation but it's a case of um, just being a little bit patient and allowing the markets to uh, to play out. You can see here that the market's in pretty much of a tight, pretty much tight range. You know, the value area low is at 67.30, value area high 67.54. So, you know, 24 tick range there, pretty tight um, in terms of the uh, the price action so far uh, today. Now the price has pushed down, uh, retesting the lows here at 67.22. Um, uh, so we may see a continued push to the downside, um, although we know that this is a major area of uh, of support. Um, so we're just going to pay attention to the uh, to the charts here. We can see that the uh, the trend, the short-term trend, on my tick chart, on my print profile chart, is to the downside, but we seem to be getting a little bit of a push up here. Um, and uh, it's a case of just being a little bit patient and allowing the trades, the trade just to play out. Um, but we seem to have found a base now at uh, 67.22. We've been down in this area three times. Um, and uh, what the market likely to do at this point, um, what they often do once they've hit that base is uh, go into the profit release phase. So we should, we may see, uh, you know, a, a push. Um, back up to the upside. Um, and if I see that, if I see a, a, this break above this area, I'm just going to take a, 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 a long in this area um, with a view to uh, uh, a, a push up into the value area high. Order okay, filled. So I'm going to take a long here. I'm long the market. Um, we're above the, uh, above the moving average here. Um, and so I'm looking for a, a, a move up to the uh, up into the value area high, and we'll probably reevaluate this trade um, if and when we we get up to that point. Just letting this trade just play out a little bit here. It's getting pretty close to my stop, but uh, we've got positive delta on our side here which is good. Caught a lot of uh, big, big, big supply zone above us. Um, so target filled. Hit the first target. Target filled. Hit the second target. I'm just going to move my right runner up here now. See if we can get the benefit of a, of a move through this area. Um, let's just drag this down a little bit. So my stop is down here at uh, 67.46 and uh, um, a bit of an issue here with the looking left and seeing that this was a major turning point uh, a little bit earlier on uh, in this session. Um, so I know there's a whole load of sellers located here. Um, but I'm just going to give this trade an opportunity to play out. Okay, let's just move my target up a little bit here. And uh, see if we're able to break through this level. It's looking good so far. It's looking very good. Okay, I'm going to move my um, I'm going to move my stop up to the value area high, just to lock in a little bit more profit on this trade. If indeed we do get a runner here, then I want to maximize my uh, 
the, the, my profits here. I've got two lots now running. We've broken through that level there. So we have broken, or well, we almost broke through it. Um, and uh, let's, okay. It's coming down to retest these levels, the base of this, uh, of this supply zone. Okay, coming back now towards the value area high. My stop is here at uh, 67.55. So we've locked in a little bit of profit on two contracts, on three contracts, sorry. Back to the test, retest of the value area high. We always know that there's a lot of sellers around that area, so uh, if they came and started to sell, that would push it below. But that doesn't seem to be happening. So the momentum is on our side here. Uh, the dots are above the uh, the zero line on the uh, on the uh, on the Momo. So let's just see how this uh, trade plays out. Seem to be getting into a little bit of congestion here. I'm keeping my target up here at uh, just out of the way. Uh, this is a free trade now, so that it's all about how I manage the trade. Once you get into your, uh, to a situation where you've, you've got a free trade, i.e. it cannot turn into a losing trade because my stop is uh, is higher than my, uh, my entry point, um, then you go into ma trade management mode. And that is about just maximizing, uh, maximizing profit. We seem to be struggling a little bit to break above uh, 67.76, um, which is that, uh, which is this, the high here. Um, so I just need to be a little bit more patient whilst this trade plays out. If we see a break, uh, well, if it comes down and hits my stop, then I'm out of the trade anyway. Um, but I know it, oh, we've created a demand zone here. This is a good sign. This is a very, very good sign. So we've created this demand zone here. Um, I'm just going to pull my stop up a little bit. This is the pivot here at uh, 68.01. And uh, it seems if I can get a break above this, uh, this congestion area, um, then, OK. Still in congestion. Still retesting the value area high, 67.64. I need to see a move out of this area to give me some comfort. And at that point, I'm going to uh, move my stop up a little bit. So let's get my stop up to 67.60. Uh, and uh, let's see if uh, this in does indeed provide a, a good opportunity here. Okay, we're breaking, we've broken above the high. Uh, this is looking very, very good at the moment, guys. Okay, I'm going to move my target up just a little bit, a uh, little bit more, and I'm going to pull my stop up to this area here. So my stop is now at 67.72. Uh, the next stopping point here is the the, the pivot at 68, big round number. Uh, we've broken through that level. This is looking very, very good. Uh, I'm just going to move my stop up a little bit further. Uh, sorry, move my st my target up a bit further, and I'm just going to put my stop just below this area here, um, which is the uh, the demand zone. Let's pull this over a little bit. So you know, surprise, surprise, the price got up to 68. Um, big round number with a combination of at the pivot point, it's going to be a whole bunch of orders down there. Need to see if we can break um, above above that level. Seem to be making that move right now. Um, okay, I'm going to move my, I'm going to go just above the, uh, uh, the demand zone now. We're up about $1,200 if I were to close the trade out at this point. I don't want to be greedy at all. Um, Move my stop up to the prior swing low now. I just want to lock in some profit. 
don't want to be greedy on this trade. Oh, it'd be good if we could get another push to the upside. Okay, brilliant. Let's move the target up again. Okay, let's pull this back. Let's try to get my out of the way. This is looking like a very good trade here, guys. Uh, I'm going to move my stop up to this level down just below the swing low. Not just below the low of the previous bar, rather. Just being patient. I'm going to push my stop up now just below this demand zone. It'd be great if we could get up to 68.45. We're retesting this demand zone now. Stop is stop very, very filled. tight. And I'm out of that trade. Okay, so uh, that's my my first trade of the day. Um, oh, pretty pleased with that. Uh, pretty pleased with that result. Uh, what was also interesting there was the way I was managing the trade using the method of moving my stop up to below the low of the previous bar, trying to maximize my uh, my profits, uh, which is absolutely key. When you, when you do get a runner, um, it's important that you maximize your trades because those runners don't come along that um, often. Price is now coming back down now to retest this level at 67.90. Um, we're moving just below the moving average. You can see that uh, the momentum is coming down uh, al along with it. Um, we're at the we're at the moving average now. This is a 20 um, uh, moving average. Uh, looks like we've seen some. Pr I'm going to buy the market here. I'm looking to buy the market. Order filled. Get into a trade here. See what uh, what actually happens here. See if there's an opportunity to uh, for it to re push back up and retest that uh, retest that area. Stop filled. Oh, I got stopped out of that. Stop uh, filled. I was a bit Target out of that. filled. I was probably a little bit premature getting into that trade. Uh, Based on the euphoria, but there, I, I do think that, that this market wants to push to the upside. So, I'm order give it filled. Go. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can get my stop. Target filled. Okay, let's just move this out of the way. Let's move this target out of the way. We're at, uh, we've got another uh, risk-free trade here. Let me just pull back on our levels here. Uh, we need to break above this level of 68.30. Um, if we don't break, then I'll have I'll have got 10 ticks on uh, uh, a couple on, on one lot. Um, but I need to give. There's a balance between giving your trade um, room to move. Um, stop filled. And I've got stopped out on that. Okay. Okay, let's just... Uh, we pushed all the way up to that level. Didn't quite break that level. Um, come back and retest this area of, uh, of demand. Um, I'm still above the, the dots in terms of... Uh, the momentum is still to the upside, so I'll just give this another chance. We're in profit, so we're trading with profits right now. Okay, Order I'm filled. Go at this. Stop filled. Okay. 
let's hit my first stop here. Still seeing a lot of support here, so I might just add to my position back in adding that one lot back in. Once Order again. filled. Okay. Let's just move this target out of the way. So I'm back up to five lots. Seem to be struggling to break above this area here. If we can get a break above 68.28, um, then I think we could uh, see a, a move to the upside. Okay. Alrighty, good. So let me just move my target out of the way a little bit. We've broken through that level now. As you can see, I'm just going to move my stop up to the just the low of the previous bar. Standard approach to managing these trades. Momentum is still on our side. As we can see here, the dots are above the zero line. look over on the 30 minute chart we've just broken through the high of yesterday um, so the sellers are coming back in now and starting to push the price a little bit lower I'm going to bring one of my targets uh, down a little bit I don't want to be greedy on this trade uh, we are quite extended now um, Let's just see how this uh, how this plays out. We are quite extended. Retesting my level here. Still retesting the level. You can see the white line where the price has come down to in terms of that retest. I need it to break. I need to see a push to the upside. Um, momentum is now on our side. You see that with the Bollinger Bands here, that the the BB bands are uh, are all green and above the zero line. Trade's looking pretty good here. Uh, I'm not going to be greedy though. I'm happy to take at this. Uh, if we can get up to this Fibonacci um, support resistance area, then I'd be happy with that trade there but it is a free trade. Oh, nearly got stopped out there. I don't think I'm liking this. Stop filled. Too much. Okay, so, so I've taken about three trades there. I'm up uh, $1,200. $1, uh, um, and uh, the, the the challenge was just breaking above these levels, as you could see. Uh, price is now pulling back away out of this area. I'm getting close to thinking to myself, maybe you know, now's the time to sort of stop trading and maybe look at some um, other opportunities. I'm just going to give this a little, just a little bit more time. Um, the, the trend is still to the upside. Could see. Uh, you can see we've got a fake out zone appearing now, and this is a this is a positive thing. You know, when there's this gap between the dots and the zero line, um, that's what we call a fake out zone. And what often happens is that there's not enough momentum to push the price of, in terms of the price going lower, uh, and therefore, because there's not enough momentum to the downside, the dots remain above the uh, the zero line um, and uh, so I'm just going to be a little bit patient now and just see if we get a potential opportunity to perhaps buy this market again we are definitely in a fake out zone to the downside which means that uh, uh, the momentum is still um, long and if I take a trade here this will be the last trade of the day now
Got some negative delta here. Just drag this over a little bit. Still haven't crossed the zero line on the Momo. Dots are still above the zero line here. Positive delta coming out of here. If we can break above this level, I'm going to buy the market up at this point. I'm just going to put an order in here to buy the market. Order pending. If we get up to this point, then there's going to be a good opportunity for a push to the upside. Order filled. Still in the fake out zone area. Okay, I'm going to move my s targets up a bit here. It seems like we've broken the uh, yesterday's high again. Stop filled. Okay, first target's taken out. If we break above this supply zone, I'm going to add to my position. Order filled. Just adding another lot in there to that position there. Stop is now at break even. This is parade is now looking pretty good. Pushing even higher. Could we get up to 69 today? We'll see. So I'll move my targets up a little bit. Move my stop just below the previous, uh, the low of the previous bar. Locked in some profit. Stop filled. And I'm out of the trade. Okay, so. Uh,
$1,750 uh, with uh, five contracts adding into those positions. So not a bad day's worth of trading. Hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, see you in the room. Have a good weekend. All the best. Bye.